Hi Scorpios, this is for the Scorpio Rising guys. If you don't know your rising sign, there's a link. Just open that box and you got it, all right? So this is for the Scorpio Rising. Um, whoever you're connecting with or whatever that you're connecting with, but I always, it's always about soulmate here. <laughs> I even try to focus on relationship and love and it still comes out like that. So I don't know what, and I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it just so happened like that. So let's see what's going on with the Scorpio Rising, okay? This is a Monday to Sunday energy. Sorry for the late upload. As you apply to your situation either or. Ooh, here we go. Seven of Pentacles. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Putting into a weight. Okay. There is a moment. This is an ongoing thing. Things has been planted. Things are just gonna come out. Okay. Outcome is being wait on. Okay. There's something that you need to wait for. Can be an earth sign. Okay. Asking you to wait for them. Or Earth in their chart, King of Swords can be an Aquarian too. Okay, King of Swords over here is like uh, an, the energy is is either they see a future because of Seven of Pentacles. There's future over here. Okay, and whoever is asking you to wait, they already see in the future. A King of Swords makes a plan. They do the layout. They have the blueprint. Okay, because the way for me is always about blue. The way the King of Swords they have the blueprint of life. They know how to proceed. They already see it. Not intuitive though. They just know because they're smart. Okay, very logical that if we rush this, it crumbles. If we wait for it, it grows. Okay, that's the energy of the King of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. You see. More work has to be done. The foundation is being laid out for you know for this connection, whoever you're connecting with, they want it to be stable. They want to build it from the ground up. That's why this has to be waited. Okay. Cause someone here during the wait time, they're learning. Cause in the three of pentacles, there's two people, the hermit and the nun, and some this is the architect, or is it the architect or the sculptor? Okay. No, yeah, it's it. I think it's an architect. I think so, but whatever it is, someone is learning in the process, and it's required for any relationship. You know, don't go fast. It's not fast and furious. You want to be furious? Four of Cups over here. During the time, because they're meditating and contemplating, also this is what they're learning. They're learning to address their feelings and emotion, and that's why they're putting things into a weight. Okay. That's what they're learning. In Eight of Pentacles, you see? They're rebuilding their feelings. Okay, if you're the one waiting for the person, and then this person is, you know, uh, what they're doing is they're building themselves from within. Okay? And they're very focused on themselves though. Because the Eight of Pentacles, the next step is to be a Nine of Pentacles. They want to build their confidence in life. And emotional stability too, you know? This is meditative in the sense that like the Four of Cups is like, cool, calm, and collected. The person is very chill. That's their energy. They're just chill with life right now. King of Swords, you know, air sign can be chill too. They're very, very breezy. And then you have your Ten of Wands. They're going to re receive whatever they're working for. But this person is very career-oriented, okay? That's why they're putting you into a weight basket, okay? Because they want to start their career and get something out of it first. That's their passion, that's their desire. Very career driven, who you're ever connecting with, or you are the career driven. The person, King of Swords over here, can be even buying, purchasing a car. There's a travel involved, okay? This energy is about movement too. See, they see the future of success. Remember, the chart is movement towards success, and they see it with you, or you see it with them, but I don't think the King of Swords is the one putting you on a weight. I mean, that's the person who's putting you into a weight. They see the future, but you're not the King of Swords though. You're the person here that is waiting. Now, let me see this part. Knight of Cups. See, while you're waiting over here, you're being, you're here, Knight of Cups. It's like you're seeing spiritual growth with this person. And the star card. You, see, you never, you, you'd never even lose hope. This is a good energy. I don't know. Everybody's having good energy. That's good. <laughs> oh, the star card with the Knight of Cups over here. It's almost like you know that also you understand that there a, there's a process going on right now with them and you respect boundaries because you know that they have a different view of the connection and then you move slowly 
Okay, because the Knight of Cups is not fast, you know, because it, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual journey after the the horse halts in the water because it knows it can only proceed in spiritual growth, and the Star card is something spiritual. This is the you know the angels synchronicity for me always giving you signs and symbols and that's why you you never lose hope while being in the seven of pentacles. I'm gonna continue this reading Scorpio rising. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful wonderful day. Bye.